Hello my friends, welcome to Darksiders Comics. Today we're going to do Klaus issue number six of seven uh, from Boom Studios. Uh, yeah, I must say this, this cover looks really, really good. I like that a lot. I mean, I love the art, especially the colors. They're really nice to look at. I mean, if this was a poster, I would hang it on my wall, personally. Um, so yeah, we are uh, nearing the end of this series. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. So we see here... Uh, in the kingdom, and I must give the artist props. I do it every time, I know, but the art is so good. Um, Magnus is, uh, well, the mother uh, flees with Jonas here. And, uh, well, they want to escape, and, and Jonas doesn't know why and why she's doing this. Well, we come a little bit later, uh, although, well, let's, let's, let's move on. So, and then we see a beautiful shot of Klaus's house uh, far in the mountains. And this, this young boy called Finn has saved him, uh, as we've seen in last issue. And uh, uh, a little while later, is, uh, Klaus is feeling better, but he still looks like shit. And Finn thinks he's a, some kind of a wizard. And, and, and at one point, um, Klaus says, well, we need to make potions for, you know, me healing. And he asked the boy to go outside and get him more water, you know. Uh, so the boy is going to do that, uh, along with Lily, the wolf, and um, and then she is barking, and 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 Finn what's say, hey, what's going on? And then out of nowhere, uh, arrows are flying, and and Lily gets hit a lot, and uh, she she's fleeing, uh, and then we see Magnus and his troops, uh, here's Lily fleeing, uh, attacking uh, Klaus's house while Klaus is inside, and he is being you know uh, getting hit in the back, and then everything goes black. And the next thing we see is that his um, house is getting burned down and Magnus is, uh, I want to say crucifying, but that's not entirely true. But he is, you know, um, what's the word? Well, let's say they uh, they bind him into, um, you know, onto the lake, you know, that's frozen uh, for him to die, uh, you know, by by the cold. And uh, Magnus is, is, is boasting and, and, and bragging. About um, about that the wolf she, she will be killed and he will be uh, shot and stuffed. The miners will work until they fall, and I will keep my appointment with the crown. And also that he is uh, very angry and, and bitter that Klaus wants to take his wife away, although that never happens. But you know that's in his mind, and also his son, and that he is he's he's angry that um, Klaus try tried to you know sway the people against him. And uh, so now he's leaving him here to die while his house is burning down to the ground. Very cool shot. So um, uh, the little the boy, uh, why am I forgetting Finn, is uh, now putting away in a castle with along with the other uh, little girls. And there's a reason for that. And, and Finn knows exactly uh, uh, immediately what's going on. Uh, well, somewhat, he says that the kingdom or Magnus would never give food or stuff or toys away. So he says to the children from, he's fatting us up like geese at Yule time. <laughs> she, she says, isn't that good? Well, well, these kids has never had, you know, this much candy and food. So probably they are indulging themselves, but don't know that, you know, what's going on and that they are probably in very much of a danger. Uh, meanwhile, in the mines, uh, people are worked literally to death. And this guard says, uh, we need more and more effort. This guy dies then in front of them. And um, the father of, of uh, Finn, uh, Mickelson, Gunnar Mickelson, um, he's getting, you know, getting kicked in the back and put your cowley back into it and dig. And then he's getting angry and uh, Gunnar is... is uh, shouting and screaming while hacking at the wall and then the wall breaks open and then we see this and there is a voice and it says hungry uh, free from rocks free from books where are they where are they hiding where are the children and then it, this creature comes out and everybody flees and there is parts of the and the minds that crushes into each other very cool to see uh, meanwhile, the king and his uh, army arrived, and they are not very pleased, or the generals in gen uh, uh, also, 
they are not pleased with Magnus's uh, accomplishments. And he, they say, Baron Magnus of Grimswick, you people will live in squalor while you luxuriate in splendor. You laws are inhuman and abrogatory. We come to arrest you or make war if you resist. But Magnus, uh, you know, is, is laughing, boasting and bragging and said, hey, why not sit down? There's some, some food here before it all goes south. And uh, he, he stands up, he's just doing a toast. And then he, it seems that the guards has uh, already captured um, Jonas, his son, and his wife um, a mile from the castle. So they are back and then the door opens out of nowhere. And um, Magnus is, is shouting, Midwinter is upon us. I insist you join me in a toast to the power of the ancient dark. Because tonight we have a new spirit of Yule time. And, it, and the door is opened and then we see finally the creature behind the wall. And it's none other than Krampus. And Krampus is wrecking havoc in seconds. He's attacking, he's using fire. And we see also... This gruesome shot that, well, people are melting literally. And then he points at Jonas and uh, his mother. And uh, ah, it looks it looks fantastic. So, yeah, uh, Krampus is here to, uh, yeah, to shake things up. That's probably a nice word. Uh, meanwhile, going back to uh, Klaus, who's almost frozen to death. And we see Lily try to comfort him. And uh, he's on the verge of death. Wolves are coming, but they are probably more in the side, I guess. And then Lily starts to howl, but using also the words that Magnus is basically um, teach her, you know, like more like a song. And then colors come. The song is being spoken by Lily or howling, if you will. And then things are happening and the spirits return. And the spirits uh, say, come. And Lily collapses. And uh, then they are being transported to somewhere. I don't know where. And there's all crystal toys hanging around. And he is now healed again. And, and then these beings or whatever, these have runes. And he says, make better. And they are shouting, make better, make better, make better. And the runes were, uh, are uh, placed upon Klaus. And then Klaus screams and that brings us to the ends of the book and yeah so great stuff uh, i like it it is more uh, more fast paced or is that a word probably not but more um better paced probably <laughs> that's probably the right word uh, than the last couple of issues the last couple of issues was more story driven uh, although and this is more you know coming to the conclusion where this is going there's more action going on and we finally see krampus so, yeah, um, excellent book so far. So I hope the payoff is also very good. We'll see. Um, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.